Hey what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to bring to you a, another money method um, this time using the Red Bull Junior. Previously I have done this video before but again this method has come back into relevance as basically one of the better ways to make money in a Grand Turismo 7 since update 1.15 arrived. So as we're all aware now the Tomahawk X method is pretty much dead in the water meaning that we're having to find um, new ways of making money and some of these involve going back to previous methods. So if you want this car you can obviously buy it from the Gran Turismo dealer. Um, it's only 350k making it relatively cheap meaning that within a single race you have pretty much made your money back and pretty much over double what you paid for the car. The reason this car is so good is because it's very good on fuel, it's very good on its tyres and pretty much anyone can jump in and use it very well. This means that you're not going to have any issues throughout pretty much the whole event, um, even when the rain does fall because the event we're going to be using, which we're going to see in a minute, is going to be the Le Mans event. Um, obviously this event has been around, since it came around has been one of the best um, money making method and obviously this car hits the uh, performance point uh, limit pretty much just under um, its performance is honestly great so it's kind of up to you how you want to run this I put it in lean fuel and um, hoping I would be able to go longer but because of the rain quite early on I uh, will pretty much usually get rain around lap two or three and uh, no matter what I do you can pretty much run this on uh, fuel mix one and you should be absolutely fine as you will see I got a really bit of an you know an awkward run um, during this I had two bouts of rain instead of just usually the one single rain and then the track drying up so although it seems pretty much impossible to lose that clean race bonus when you are overtaking the cars originally you want to just take your time and overtake them as cleanly as possible eventually you will, you will pretty much learn the lines they'll take meaning you can time your overtakes much better um, Another thing to know, although it looks like this car's, you know, not as quick as it should be in a straight line, if you have it in fuel mix one, if you are just going to assume that it's going to rain quite early, uh, which most of the time it will between lap two and three, you can just run it at fuel mix one and you will honestly absolutely slaughter these GT4 cars down the streets. Another bonus of using this car is just a high downforce um, for the car. You've got much more um, downforce through the corners um, over the GT4 cars which take part of this race. I mean you can carry your speed through a lot more effectively. Um, meaning that you can be a lot later on the brakes and you can accelerate much earlier. Um, and get back up to your top speed a lot quicker. Um, the fuel tank is quite like reasonably sized. It's um, actually very very good if you want to go long. However, I've not once had a event at this Le Mans um, race basically turn into a whole dry session. It will usually rain quite early, um, so I would suggest if you don't want to fuel save it first, put it in fuel mix one, wait for the rain, and then if you can, uh, which the majority of the time you will be able to, um, just fuel save as and when you need for the remainder of the event because you shouldn't have to pay again. Sadly, due to the randomization of this event, um, I did end up having to make a two-stop because I actually got, like I said, two lots of rain, meaning that by the time, you know, the track had sort of started to dry out, um, the rain did come again, um, meaning that I just sort of had to take the um, extra pit stops uh, just to sort of cover myself um, over the whole distance of the race. Um, but overall, you will literally only get the one a bunch of rain and that will be quite early on um, like I said not once have I had a full dry um, session it does seem to rain the majority of the time um, very early on uh, but I've heard that players said you know have said like you can get a full dry event if that's the case then just fuel save as much as possible because you will end up pretty much doing around about I'd say anywhere from seven to, eight, 7 to 8 laps over the full 30 minutes of this event one thing to note with this car, when the rain does come down, if it rains heavy enough, the car will basically um, slip and slide even in a straight line. But don't be too worried about it, just try and catch it if you can. If you do hit a barrier, don't go and instantly restart. Like I said, it does seem pretty much impossible that you'll lose your um, clean race bonus. And especially when it comes to lapping, you can take your time, but don't be too worried if a car sort of hits you 
um, as you go in to either overtake them or lap them and such um, because like I said it does seem pretty much impossible to lose that clean race bonus as you can see here I have finally turned around and put my fuel mix at one because I'm obviously keeping my eye on the uh, radar I can see rain coming in so I've just upped the power knowing that I can use more fuel and this is where this car absolutely you know outperforms the GT4 cars on the streets and then obviously carrying that performance through there will be times where it may want to sort of like kick its back end out but it's pretty easy to just you know get it back under control don't be too worried um, like I said about maybe running off the track or hitting a barrier um, overall you should be fine but by lap two anyway you should be up to first um, one thing to know is when you come around to do your first pit stop the AI may or may not pit um, if they do stay out there may be a few yellow flags up um, when you are out in the race um, so just be aware of them not quite I've never had a penalty yet um, when a yellow flag's been brought out um, but yeah if you just want to be on the safe side to avoid those penalties um, just make sure obviously you just obey any flags that get put out another thing too new and I will show you later on in the video is that you can um, you can receive corner cutting penalties um, and penalties in general and serve them and still end up getting your clean race bonus so as you can see by the end of lap 2 we've only used 25% of fuel and we started getting um, quite heavy rain so I did box here um, obviously if you want what you want to mainly do is just change your tyres um, and if I, if I were you personally I would fill the car up to full um, just to keep on top of the fuel because you never know if it's going to be a one stop or a two stop either way you've still got to do the full 30 minutes if you are quick enough and you get quite lucky with a bit of the um, RNG you can actually sit and wait at the line and let the, um, f uh, the timer tick down and then just go across the line when it ticks down to zero and you will keep ahead of some of the AI I wasn't able to do that here uh, just because of how my race turned out um, but usually you can do that and that will save you doing obviously an extra lap which takes um, over three minutes um, a lap using these kind of cars obviously because we're not using you know big Le Mans cars and such so at my first pit stop I went on to full wet um, I should have really gone on to inters because I thought it was going to be wetter than it actually was it did dry up pretty quick um, to the point where I could have gone back on dry tyres and pitted even earlier but I chose to stay out a bit um, as you can see these are some of the cars that have stayed out and even then in the wet you have definitely got more speed on the streets um, like I did previously mention just watch out for the back end trying to kick out um, if there's sort of standing water the car does seem to want to aquaplane quite easily um, some of the heavier cars that you can do use for this event um, are a bit better in that way um, and don't suffer from the aquaplaning as much luckily I didn't really get any during this um, time over but um, that is just something to know but obviously don't worry if you do hit the barrier because you won't lose that clean race bonus so we've just gone onto lap 4 here and the majority of the field are going to pit now some of them did stay out but as you can see the track is drying so um, like I said we could have sort of stayed on the drys and held out for a bit but it can be quite risky if it does backfire if you stay on the drys too long it's a long lap and it can cost you more time than it's worth so at the end of lap 4 with the track drying out I decided to pit back in at this point I've gone back onto the hard dry compound this is because the track actually dried out much quicker than it usually would for some reason um, usually it's still quite damp all the way through um, and your inters or wet tyres will usually last you um, but as you will see we did get a little bit more rain luckily it wasn't enough to sort of make me um, do another pit stop it was enough to where I could sort of handle it on the um, dry compound of tyres but like I said it was a bit of RNG not going my way I um, mean I didn't get the best run the majority of the time you won't have to do the second pit stop but if you do just go back onto the um, dry compound and you should be able to make it till the end uh, without having to save any fuel at all so one thing I do want to ask you guys is, is if you've ever had a full dry race of this event like I said the majority of the time it, I don't know if it's just fixed for me but lap 2 or 3 I will always get rain um, and then again I may get some towards the end like you see here it's a bit of rain when we've served the penalty um, but again it dried out rather quickly um, 
average lap time on this is around about four minutes odd. It's not too bad. Obviously, you can see all the sectors are a little red. That's because of obviously the awkward pit stops we've had to put in. Uh, but like I said, the majority of the time you'll just do a one pit stop when it rains, and then your tyres should be good to see you through to the end. We're coming through to the final corner here. Uh, obviously, got the one second penalty, which, I, as you're going to see when I cross the line, it's not actually going to affect uh, that clean race bonus. So don't be too worried about being a bit more aggressive than you usually would using this um, method because, again, you can't really lose that clean race bonus no matter what you do. With the extra lap included, we got a overall time of 32 minutes. So overall, on, in half an hour, you will get 825k, which is, you know, pretty damn good. It's um, definitely up there as one of the better uh, money-making methods currently. Um, obviously, since the Tomahawk's gone, it's um, a little bit less... Uh, money per hour we can make um, but this is definitely one of the better methods that's currently still in the game it doesn't seem like Polyphony are going to patch this at any time so just keep taking advantage I would 100% suggest the Red Bull Junior um, just for the way it drives um, and the speed it's got compared to the GT4s overall um, the other methods are still viable such as the Sylvia etc but this is 100% the standout method for this event if you like this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. I make this kind of content each and every day. Cheers, guys.